Hi, welcome to Tea News with Jan. I am your host, Jan. We are going to have a relaxing time perusing the internet and enjoying all the new things that the world is giving us tea related, whether that be some different Kickstarters, some books, some different teas, small businesses, uh, neat little things that I want you to know about or that somebody has tipped me off and that I want to share with you. It is just a relaxing good time. So grab your favorite cup of tea or coffee or beverage of choice, no judgment here, and let's get into it. First up, what I'm drinking this here, so kindly sent to me from our friends Remy at TOT. I know you can't see all of this, but I am flush with tea. <laughs> this was so kind of them and I can't wait to try them all. So the one I'm trying right now is the Tropical Kick. It is a black flavored tea and it's passion fruit flavored black tea. I am excited to try this. I love the gold foil. Ooh. What I love most though is a spectacular thank you card. That is always so appreciated. And just a little note with handwriting in it and just all the goodness of, you know, kindness of the world. That's what really gets me and I'm gonna savor that for sure. So thank you guys very much. So TOT is a company out of Ontario and uh, this here is the first time I'm trying it with you guys. Oh yes, that is, that, that's, that is delightful. I think somebody tells me that I say delightful. <laughs> mm. I can't wait for this to cool down a little bit more. It is a tad too hot, but you can taste that black tea with that hit of tropical passion fruit underneath it. The other one that I already opened just to smell was Blue Amour, and it's a green herbal tea, so it says it has blue pea flowers and green tea leaves. I'm not typically a huge blue pea flower person. Um, I do love how it makes it blue. I opened it up to check it out, and it is chock full of <laughs> giant pea flowers. Ooh. Look at them, they're so, so beautiful. And then they sent me other teas as well. So if we look on their website here, you can see their story, you can read all about them, their team, their mission to provide best garden fresh loose leaf teas straight from the source to your cup with just a click. I love that, so wonderful. And then you can go in and see their different teas flavored teas. So pretty. So, and of course I'm going to leave you guys all the links down below and I'll try to make everything as easy as possible for you guys to find everything. Next up we have the photo of the week and if you want your photo featured just use the hashtag TNewsWithJan on your Instagram posts and I will search through and find one to share. I love this one. Our friend Tea Fueled Writer, she just got her YouTube channel up and going and we love supporting other YouTube channels around here. So please go give her a follow, a like, a subscribe. Subscribe, that's where we're at. <laughs> Takes me a bit sometimes. <laughs> So she says, I've officially started my YouTube channel. Check me out, Tea Fueled Writer. I'll be talking a lot about tea as well as my other hobbies. Take a look at my first video and subscribe if you're interested, link in her bio. And I am of course going to link her YouTube channel down below as well. So check that out. I love the support. Jackie Allen is another YouTuber and she's like, oh yeah, I can't wait to watch. <laughs> Jackie is adorable and I know I don't get to watch my tea friends quite enough, but yes. 
Up next, uh, this came to me from my friend Jeannie over on Instagram, and she was like, Jan, you need to check out this company, and I love that. If you guys have anything you think I should be checking out and featuring on T News, feel free to send me a message or shoot me an email. And I am more than happy to check it out and see if we can snaggle it in here. So this here is so adorable. It's tea cellar tea and it's tea and truffles. Allow us to unveil a little something new as we approach Valentine's Day. We've combined the decadence of truffle with our favorite Valentine teas and fashioned them in a small boxes and tins. The price ranges from 10 to $24. I think that's like so reasonable, so reasonable. So it's rock sugar in the heart. You can see that there in the center. And then blueberry port wine truffles, white butter truffles, strawberry sweetheart tea, raspberry kiss tea. You get the picture. <laughs> We're hoping you fall in love with them all. I love that. And of course, I'll link down below to their site and everything as well. I love this here. <laughs> when you go down and free shipping on orders over $50, but need help deciding, choose from our top 10 teas. And look, you get to like spin it around. Let me pull this down a little bit more. Watch, so you see the teacups there and you can spin it and it's gonna choose one for you. I love that. And then you would just click click on the T and it's going to take you to that T. That is such a fun way to um, get people to test out their different teas or check them out. I love that. Next up, we have a Kickstarter for you to enjoy. This here is DNT, thematic teas for your RPG. And I know I'm not cool enough to do this, but <laughs> I believe RPG is role playing Games? <laughs> I feel like I probably should have figured that out. I remember when I was younger, my brother and his friends used to have these Dungeons and Dragons books and stuff, and there was dice, and I just really wanted to play. I remember spying on him and his friends. Oh, all I wanted to do was play. <laughs> Oh, you guys, this is delicious. Mm. Oh, yum. I love that. It's like that black tea base and then the kick of the passion fruit. All right, back to our Kickstarter here that we're looking at. So they've already reached their pledges. Um, I've done quite a few Kickstarters. There's only been a couple times that I was like, oh, probably shouldn't have done those ones. But this one looks quite fun. So I love their teas, <laughs> Under Dark and Chill. And it's like, looks like that role playing thing. We never anticipated our teas to be something we produced and sold online. Initially, we created our teas as a way for us to have an excuse to go to PAX South. I am so uncool. <laughs> However, the demand was overwhelming and we brought it back again to C2E2. I'm sure this is making sense to somebody. We have never done large scale production at Pax Soth, we sold our teas in paper bags. This Kickstarter is about taking a beloved product and increasing our production so our fans all over North America can get it in time. So adorable, I love it. So then if you went and you wanted to back the project, if you're familiar with Kickstarter and stuff like this, campaigns, you'll know that you can kind of select different um, levels that you're going to support them. And by supporting them, you will then kind of get something in return. So this here for $28 or more, you get two four ounce bags of tea. And then it just goes up from there when you want to support them. So I love that. Up next, I wanted to share with you guys something cute and adorable. I thought that this was so sweet. This is off of When We Were Young. When We Were, Were Young? When We Were Young. When We Were Young. Free shipping to Canada over uh, for orders over $150, but it looks like they have a drop down so you could select a uh, different one. So for our friends in the United States, let's see what they say. Doesn't say anything about that. $63 
And this for this here little tea set, I love it. It's so adorable. Looks like it has little cats on it. I'm like, look at that, so adorable. So this I found interesting. The material, it's 100% silicone. So silicone is long lasting materials and a great alternative to materials such as plastic. So cute, I love it. So if you needed a gift for somebody's kid or if you had a kid and you're a tea lover, this would be adorable to gift to them. Speaking of gifts for somebody that has everything, Urban Outfitters has this here. <laughs> Bobo Tea Light. I love it. It's so cute. It just makes me happy and makes me smile. Very affordable at $18 and look at how cute he is. So cute. Well, I think it's, oh no, it's battery operated. So, so adorable and even looks cute when it's not lit up, but extra adorable all lit up. So, so cute. I love that. It doesn't look too big either, just perfect. Add a little bit of something. Up next, we have a tip from my friend Sarah and T. She is a fellow YouTuber as well. You should definitely go check her out. She's lovely. If you're into chickens and stuff, she's your girl. <laughs> she mentioned this year company and their, their honey. And I love honey. And it was uh, my mother-in-law actually made me fall in love with honey. <laughs> mm. I've currently been on a big maple syrup kick with my matcha, but I still love a good honey slathering all over my toast. So I seriously can't get enough of this tea. So good. So this here, company Campbell's Gold. They're celebrating 15 years and they are doing their customer appreciation week. Here it is here. So it begins February 18th. In appreciation of our customers, we would like to invite you back as we reopen for the season and show our appreciation of your support by offering the following product specials. So I love this. They're doing a buy one, get one, 50% off, 15% off specials, 10% off, and 5% off specials. That is so wonderful. And they are now shipping Canada-wide, um, Sarah tells me. So that is so wonderful. I would definitely check them out. I love this beekeeping supplies. I love that they have like when you're looking at their website too, there's a lot more to it. Uh, and it looks like they're doing like the education. So workshops and classes and stuff. And I just, I really like that. I, I love the education part of everything. Education on my own terms, I just adore and love. So there you go. If you wanted to look at becoming a beekeeper, might be the place for you. Up next, I wanted to share with you a different perspective of the David's Tea Tasting Club box. Number one, Ash Loves Tea is jumping back into her YouTube channel and I will leave her link down below, but I will especially leave this here link to this, um, what's this called? Video. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a bit of a momenty, momenty day. <laughs> So Ash goes through and she talks about the her perspective from the David's Tea Tasting Subscription Club and what she thought about it. And as you know, uh, or maybe you don't know, I did get one and I did not do a review on it though. Um, I said I'd share my opinion and my thoughts on it if you guys were interested, but... Yeah, so if you want to... If you want me to go through that, I could do that. Just let me know. But I think watching like Danny's and watching Ash is a great way to kind of see a couple different takes on it. Up next, we have our friend over here from the Mindful Tea Queen. And I love this. She's doing a tea and book club announcement. And I'm actually, I'm... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go get this book, Miss Benson's Beetle, and I think I'm gonna participate in her book club. She's so excited about this book. She picked it up last week in Seattle, and uh, 
she talks about the description of the book, but then she says, here it is, she plans to host a free live event on her Mindful Tea Queen account on Instagram. Again, don't worry, I'll leave all the information down below in the description. And she's gonna do it on February 27th at 10 a.m. So of course you need to give yourself enough time to read or listen, which is probably what I'm gonna do, because I'm probably gonna get an audiobook off of Audible. So she's gonna say that she's gonna make the loose leaf tea together and talk about the wonderful story. So she's pairing it with a specific tea and she says it's not necessary that you do get that tea, but if you did want to do the tea pairing with the book club review, that would be fun too, so. I am so excited. So it's usually about this time in our tea news that we would have a little bit of a break for our interview. I am very excited to announce that the interviews are going to be separated. They're, we're going to keep them separated. <laughs> I can't help but sing that. We are going to we are going to put the uh, interviews on a different video, and then that way you can kind of. It allows me, I guess, to feel a little bit more comfortable taking a little bit more time with the tea news as well as with the interview and not feeling like I'm needing to rush to not keep you here too long. So that's uh, one of the things that I wanted to be able to really let the interviews shine on their own because I think that they really can and will. So I'm excited though to tell you about the next interview that you're going to see. It's with Katie from Monarch Tea. I'm so excited. It's already recorded. I'm hoping to finish editing it and I'm hoping to announce that the interviews will be coming out on Sunday. So we shall see, make sure you're subscribed. So hit the subscribe. If you hit the little bell and ring the little bell, it will let you know some of the times that I post. It doesn't let you know all of the times, but. <laughs> and I of course always share on my Instagram page too when I do upload new videos. So that's a great way to, to know too. Up next, we have a book that's coming out. It's not out yet, but you can pre-order it. Um, the Little Book of Tea, it's Sweet Dreams Are Made of Tea, and I love the price, $11.99 for a hardcover, that's pretty good. And this is Canadian prices, so I would assume that it's going to be uh, more affordable for our friends in the United States. So you can hit pre-order, and what I understand is that this here book is going to be like a, um, kind of like what's that called well it says freshly brewed words of wit and wisdom i think it's going to be like little quotes and stuff like that super cute and adorable the interesting thing that i found about this is that when i look at this book cover on indigo this is what you see the red teapot with the white polka dots on like the teal or turquoise type back but when we flip it over to amazon same price, $11.99 that you can order it for. And this is shipping mid-June, so June 15th is when they're saying that it's gonna be released. But this time, instead of it being like a flat red polka dotted um, kind of like a artwork, this is more of like a photograph of a white teapot with blue flowers on it. So I'm, I'm not quite sure. And then I go back and forth and I don't even know which one I like more. <laughs> I think that they're both really adorable and cute. <sighs> Talking about adorable and cute, let's talk about my stickers. <laughs> I don't think, I think I mentioned that I was hoping to have some new ones coming out. I did get my pride teapots up and that pride teapot is very special to me. Those are actually my teapots. So how I create the stickers is I actually photograph my teaware. For the most part, some of them I have fully drawn, but I photograph my teaware and then manipulate it if I need to, like color-wise or anything like that. This one I did have to manipulate, I think, two of the teapots to be able to get the proper colors. And then I kind of like play around with them, make them a little bit more artistic, and then I have them professionally printed uh, on vinyl sticker print 
Um, so they're weatherproof. They suggest that you uh, adhere them to something and before like, you know, getting them really wet, you know, wait 24 hours, that kind of normal thing. But the Pride Teapots, everyone that has purchased, I'm giving a dollar to the Nova Scotia Youth Project. And I love that group. They are doing some wonderful work in our province for the youth. And it's just, it's great. It's very, <sighs> maybe one day we will never need things like this, but right now we do. So Another sticker that, uh, it's low stock right now, there's not many of them left, but yeah, two remaining, is the, we're all a little broken, be gentle with each other, and it's a little, it's that broken teacup that I broke one day, so, and I photographed it and then manipulated it a bit. So uh, I did put up three brew kindness boxes and those were curated. I know I had some people say, oh, I thought it was just the teacup. It was not, it was a curated box. The teacup, you were gonna know for sure which one you had. And then the rest of the goodies inside were going to be a surprise. So I put three of those up and those sold out. Uh, the next time I do put the any up, I will, let you guys know beforehand uh, when they're gonna go live and then that way if you are interested you can you can get one. No pressure ever. Up next we have this fun tea related um, puzzle if you're looking for something fun to do during any time that you're inside or just normal winter times. <laughs> this is super cute. I love the drawing and the artwork and I love that it has tea and three ladies drinking tea together. Super cute. And that's on Etsy and it's Wan, wow, oh, gracious, Wander Puzzle Company, $37.40 Canadian. I love Plum and Posey is a company that has been around for quite a while. And what she does is she's somewhat local. I can't remember if she's in New Brunswick PI. She's in Canada and what she does is she collects old seals. So you know those old wax seals? Well she collects vintage and antique wax seals and then makes them into this beautiful beautiful jewelry. This one here is called Owl and Teapot and you can see that it has an owl and a teapot on it. So cute. Isn't that adorable? Like just like that subtle way to show your love of tea. I really like that. And a blog that I really enjoyed reading on One More Steep, my friend Michelle over here, the skinny on skinny teas. I love it. <laughs> it's such good information and it really makes you kind of stop and ponder and kind of remember that too much of anything isn't good for you. And that's, I guess, what I took away from it is that, you know, a little bit of everything. Variety is the spice of life, isn't that what they say? And I think that that is so, so true, it's so wonderful, so. Hmm. Well, this here, T.O.T. -T, Tropical Kick, this is very nice. It's, it's like cooling down and a little bit more of the, I think it's passion fruit, right? Yeah, passion fruit is coming through. Hmm. So good, I really enjoyed that, so. If you want anything featured, please feel free to drop me a message. I will leave my email and everything down below, of course. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Share it with your friends, that really helps out. And of course, leave me a comment down below. I wanna know what were you drinking while I was drinking my tropical kick? from TOT and is there anything on here that you're like oh my gosh that is amazing I can't wait to get that <laughs> I can't wait to chat with you guys in the comments down below until next time take care bye